always some guy. Am I wrong if I date a white woman? No one is asking about you. Ooh. Did I just witness a love connection? This is better than the club. I hate the hoteps on this app. Man was just booted right out the chat and I was just like, cold world here on Clubhouse. I started seeing like little just tweets here and there about Clubhouse this, Clubhouse that. And you know I'm nosy, like I'm mad nosy. So I'm like, what's going on? What y'all getting into? <laughs> What is up YouTube, it's your girl Miss Chiss and today we're talking about a topic I'm super excited about. You guys, I was invited to the new app, Clubhouse app, a couple weeks ago, but I kinda just got the hang of it like a few days ago. And so today I'm here with a video about 10 things that I love and hate about Clubhouse app. I think this video is super important because a lot of people like have heard about it but don't actually have the app yet because it functions on this really like annoying invite only thing. I'll be getting into the intricacies of how it works, how you get an invite, what's on the app, and the good, the bad, and the ugly of like actually being a user on the app. But before we jump into all of that, I really want to make sure you guys like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. We're new, we're growing, we're new, we're figuring things out so let me know what you guys want to see and I can definitely make a video about that. Now let's get into this clubhouse tea. All right guys so I was invited to clubhouse like probably a month ago almost actually no probably less than that actually a bit less than that but I was told about it a month ago and it was through like one of my old colleagues that I had done like um more like pre-professional stuff with not really like one of my like patties not one of like my good good friends or anything but he was like oh yeah chis like you should check out this app i think you would really like it it's great for networking i said oh cool and just ignore the whatsapp message then i started seeing like little just tweets here and there about clubhouse this clubhouse that and you know i'm nosy like i'm mad nosy so i'm like what's going on what y'all getting into? I had to know more. And so I reached out to one of my friends who had tweeted about it and she's like, oh yeah, it's this new app Clubhouse. It's like voices only, it's really messy, blah, blah, blah. She didn't give me like a huge introduction to it and everything because I didn't have the app yet, but she gave me like the basics and I was like, oh, I'm intrigued. And so once one of my other friends said like, oh yeah, she just mentions it to me casually in conversation that she had got invited to the app and was like on the app. I was like, yeah, send me an invite right now. I'm gonna need one of those. Give me your invite. As usual, I bullied her. I bullied my way into getting an invite. You gotta do what you gotta do. I pop on this app with her and she's kind of new as well. She's helping me navigate through the app and checking everything out. So basically when you go on the screen if I can I'll insert like a little screen grab of what it looks like there but you open up the app and you kind of are just greeted by all these different like topics this will be one of the things I'll complain about later on in the video but it's not very like user friendly like you definitely need someone else to walk you through clubhouse but luckily they have like a room a lot of the times which is like clubhouse for newbies where they discuss like how the app works and everything but basically you hop on the app and then you're and then you're in the hallway as they call it clubhouse vernacular clubhouse lingo but you're in the hallway and you have all the different topics in the hallway you have like a tab where you can like a menu sort of thing where you can pull out and see um where what rooms your friends are in and things like that but in the hallway there are the rooms with all these different topics a whole host of them ranging everything from like oh music industry execs here conversation about fat phobia here what's wrong with black men over here like when you open this app there's always 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 some conversation about what do black men do wrong what, what why don't y'all love black men always some always something like that which is annoying but if people want to talk about it they want to talk about it now let me get into the things I love and hate about this here app Clubhouse, you guys, because the way I've just been wasting my life on Clubhouse for no reason, acting like I don't have a thesis to write, acting like I don't have videos to make, acting like I don't have a bag to chase, I'm on Clubhouse, I'm on Clubhouse. I have like a whole list right here. Um, so if I glance down at anything, that's what I'm looking at. But yeah, let's get into this video. Uh, love or hate, which one should we start with? Hmm. All right, first thing I love about Clubhouse, Voices only, you guys. Like, I don't love my own voice or anything, but I love other people's voices. The person I'm thinking right now is Dutch Avelli. Like, I love you, Dutch. Hope everything's well. <laughs> anyway, 
Anyway, I love other people's voices and Clubhouse is voices only so it's really cool like you actually get to hear other people's voices in real time and it's like you're having a proper conversation again which I know we're all deprived of because of COVID. So I love the voice only feature of the app and it's just like really intimate. It feels like you're really getting to know people, really getting to bond and I think that's what facilitate some of the really great connections that happen on the app. There's a whole like social side to it, and like, social aka dating and like all that, whatever. And then there's like the networking businessy side to it as well. So those connections also thrive on Clubhouse. Like I know people who have found like partners for businesses on Clubhouse, but you already know where I'm at, <laughs> the messy side. Yeah, so I really love the intimacy that is voices only. And I think it really helps people who are a bit shyer just get their voice out there and get to meet people because video chatting is a bit much, you know? You can't just be video chatting with anyone right off the bat. Flip side, a thing I hate about it, the user experience. I already touched on this in the introduction, but it's just crazy. You kind of get dumped on this app and you have no idea how it works. I hope this video helps some people who have no idea how it works. There are little things you can do to like customize your experience a little bit, but I just feel like it's not clear enough. It's not clear enough at all. And so you'll have to go, you actually either need a friend to walk you through or you have to tap into one of those, like one of the rooms on Clubhouse, like you'll be in the hallway, but then you have to tap into one of the rooms that has their topic, like talking about Clubhouse for newbies. And then hopefully you get a chance to ask a question because not all of this stuff is just like upfront and known. So I think that's one thing that needs to be improved upon for sure. Yeah, the girls had no idea how to use this app. I really would not have known what I was doing had I not had my good friend Kasia. So shout out you bae. Anyway, next thing I love about Clubhouse is that it really feels like you're meeting new people. I sort of said this in my original one, but you guys, it's just my favorite part. I hosted a conversation like a week or two ago, and it was about just being black at a PWI with some of my classmates, and then random new people came in. And I feel like I actually made friends low key. I, I'm not gonna put too much weight in the people I meet in the conversations we have, but you can do this nice thing where you can like add them as one of your followers or on Clubhouse, or you can follow them on Clubhouse. And so you get notifications about what rooms they're in and things like that, and you can see their interests and everyone has like a little profile on um, certain picture here and there you can have a bio about yourself it says what groups you're a part of aka like what topics you're interested in and then you can also link your Instagram and Twitter so if you want to take things to that next level if you want like the all the juicy tea and whatnot you can actually get that because it's all linked in the profile but up front it just starts with the voice yeah so I really do feel like I'm meeting new people on the app which I really appreciate this is so much better than Twitter or anything else I've really tried now one of the things I hate I hate the hoteps on this app. Yeah, there are hoteps on the app. Also, I don't know if this is just me, but is Clubhouse like primarily black? <laughs> I don't know if that's like, it's just the people I follow. It could be, it could very much be a me thing. So this is not 100% confirmed, but I feel like Clubhouse is very black. Um, I love it but I don't know why it's happening, but I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. I think black people need this thing more than anyone else, to be honest, because that's sort of like hair salon, barber shop communication that has been missing in quarantine. Clubhouse has really allowed people to have that again, which is a beautiful thing. But yeah, just like there are hoteps in the barber shop or in the salon or at your auntie's store, whatever, there are hoteps on Clubhouse as well hate it. They're always talking over people. They always think they know too much and they're just the worst. Hoteps are always the worst and they're on Clubhouse. I'm sorry. It's true. It's true. Next thing I love about Clubhouse though, I love those messy relationship rooms. My favorite one is based in the UK. It's called hashtag moderators be moderating. I don't know any of these people from like someone who would walk down on the street, but I love that room on Clubhouse. I'm about to find my British king, period. It's just a really fun space. It's kind of like an interactive podcast of sorts. And they basically have like a ton of people in the room. There'll be like a thousand people in this room and people will be scrolling, 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 scrolling to see whose display picture is cute. And then they'll actually like go on stage to shoot their shot at that person and then they'll bring the other person on stage and it's like all right what you guys think about blah, blah, blah. And i'm just like oh, did i just witness a love connection this is better than the club at least i can hear what people are saying like this is lit and so i love those messy um relationship rooms on clubhouse i met my boyfriend on clubhouse yeah jk no i didn't i'm just practicing saying that because it could happen you guys never know on the flip side though, one thing I hate about Clubhouse is that most rooms can kind of devolve into these very annoying desirability politics sort of conversations, which 
are just not always what you're trying to hear. Like, even if you're talking about something completely unrelated, like they just devolve into these really annoying heteronormative conversations about desirability, politics, and man, woman, blah, blah, blah. Like, black men and black women, just, you've got like a solid, 70% chance in any conversation that it's gonna devolve into some random guy being like, so am I wrong if I date a white woman? No one, we're literally talking about, it's just actually very, very annoying. Like conversations can go there because they're just so organic and free flowing. Basically anyone gets a platform slash anyone can speak who wants to. But that's one thing that really annoys me about Clubhouse app. And I can't even imagine what it's like for queer folks because it's actually, a very, very heteronormative platform. Like always, there are these rooms in specific spaces and if you follow specific people, you'll probably get a little bit more of the, of like varied conversations, conversations that are not as heteronormative, but you have a lot of the same, the same nonsense that you'll honestly see on Twitter a lot of times happening on Clubhouse. And actually funny enough, instead of linking with your Facebook, Clubhouse links with your Twitter, which I think is really interesting and kind of novel but I really appreciate that because everyone knows Twitter is where the vibes are these days. I'm getting hot recording this. That that subject just made me hot because it's just very annoying. Always some guy, am I wrong if I date a white woman? No one is asking about you. It's literally not the subject of the conversation. Ugh. And that's another annoying thing about Clubhouse. Mad people want to make the conversation about themselves. No, we don't need your whole life story. Just say a point related to the subject at hand. Anyway, shall we talk about what I love again? I'm getting hot, my braids are already messy. Like I'm taking them out, but dang, they're gonna get even fuzzier. I already spoke about the messy relationship rooms, but moderators be moderating. Just one more time, if y'all don't follow that one, I highly recommend. They stay trending in the UK. I'm a big fan. When I meet my husband in that chat, when someone shoots their shot at me, mind your business, mind your business, and see you in London, <laughs> in it. Okay, one other thing I love about Clubhouse app, I really like the topics. I think people have some really, really cool things to say. This is very, this is in strict opposition to what I was saying, like not everyone wants to hear from you, but it's just like all these social media apps. There are definitely some people that I do want to hear from. And there's some people who could just say nothing and that would be very okay. But in regards to the different topics on Clubhouse, I think it's a very good feature and a very important feature because if you're in the hallway and you just see like four random people in a room and there's no subject, you're like, um, I, I'm not going, <laughs> like I'm not coming. I mean, I guess with a party it's different, but Clubhouse is cool because you have the different topics. And so if there's a topic that you're interested in, but you don't even know anyone in the room, you can still like tap in, see what's going on there. You could still really, really enjoy the room just because like it's a subject you like. And so I've seen everything from anime to being an influencer to, you know, the dating rooms that I mentioned before. And even, um, clubhouse introduction type of rooms. Like those ones are really important, I think. So um, shout out to all the people who make those. I could probably host one, depending on how big this video gets. Like if you ask me, my channel is small right now. So literally if you just ask me like, oh, can you tell me more about clubhouse? Like, yeah, I got you, don't worry. Yeah, so I love all the different topics that you can talk about on Clubhouse. There's a really, really broad range, which is cool. Like they're little discussion groups. And I realized that like, I actually have a couple like discussion group sort of things with my friends, but not everyone has those. And if you kind of feel like you're missing that in your life, you can get into Clubhouse and they have them. They even have like a cool book club group that I'm part of. I don't know what, what the what the read is for this week, but they have really cool things like that, that I haven't seen anywhere on like Instagram or Twitter or anything. Key thing about Clubhouse, right? Rather than like the one-to-one -one thing you have on other social media platforms, I think Clubhouse is a lot more like conversational in a way. It's not like you just have some people who are these big megaphones, they dominate the conversation. It's not like IG Live where there's obviously like the face and the person talking and you can kind of be a part of things by commenting, but it's not really the same. Clubhouse really gets rid of that like disconnect which is really really awesome like there are famous people on clubhouse as well but they're just in the room like normal other people like the moderators can even kick them out and everything so I find that really great but on the topic of moderators though another thing I hate moderators that move mad I'm sorry but some of these moderators something's not right 
something is not correct in the head because literally I was in this one conversation and obviously like it was devolving into that usual black man, black woman back and forth, which is so annoying. I've already said it, but this man was talking, right? Someone cut him off, a woman cut him off. Yeah, she cut him off, she did. The guy was like, oh, excuse me, can I finish talking? Can I finish talking? Like, it was annoying, but he was actually talking. I'll give him that. And the moderator, one of the moderators who was a woman, and actually all the moderators were women, they literally just like turned off his mic, removed him as a speaker, gone immediately. That was just like, dang, <laughs> dang, y'all have to do that? <laughs> I just, Generally speaking, if we're if we're fighting, I'm taking a woman's side, like period. But that was one of the times I was just like, moderator, you're actually quite out of line for that. I've been a moderator myself on Clubhouse and off of Clubhouse in various different conversations. And what you're supposed to do is like facilitate the conversation. If someone's completely like out of pocket, saying sh like hate speech, spewing s vulgar things, like you can clearly kick them out. Like, I think that's a very appropriate thing for a moderator to do. But this guy was just like, can I finish what I was saying? Can I speak? And I think she was not like loving what he was saying, but it wasn't like outrightly injurious. Yeah, actually it was a it was an opinion. It was it was something that could truly be classified as an opinion. I like that's just me being honest. So yeah, this man was just booted right out the chat and I was just like, cold world here on Clubhouse. Yikes. But some moderators actually move mad. It's just it really sucks because you can have a really good conversation, but if the people who are facilitating it are whack like that conversation is just gonna go down the toilet it's gonna end people aren't gonna tap into it and your clubhouse room will be empty so don't be a crazy moderator if you if you find yourself in that position last thing that i love these are like two things clumped together but i'm gonna say it anyway Last thing I love are the smaller rooms where you can have just really, really good discussions. And I love them because it's just so perfect for a pandemic. I'm recording this video and we are in month nine, I think, of a full-blown pandemic, you guys. A full-blown pandemic, not an epidemic, even though you would think it's an epidemic because apparently there's no COVID in Atlanta or Lagos or the UK, I digress. We are in a full-blown pandemic. People are missing having those conversations. I miss those conversations so much. And when I was moderating the other day, I just felt something I hadn't felt in a long time since I was just like having dinner with my friends and having a good conversation that was just like flowing and people were bouncing off of each other. It's just really hard to find that sort of energy. Like you can find it on Zoom sometimes, but to find that energy with strangers, I I honestly feel like that isn't happening anywhere but Clubhouse. And that's a really beautiful thing. So that's what I'm gonna end with actually anyone who has sense slash any sort of balance in their life, definitely has a love-hate relationship with Clubhouse. Leave me a comment so if I'm wrong, tell me how you guys feel about Clubhouse. Tell me if you're on Clubhouse or if you're still like, I don't know what that is, no one invited me, blah, blah, blah. Let me know in the comments. It'd be good to good to hear where people are at. If you're on Clubhouse, feel free to give me a follow. I'm the same thing as my Instagram, at Chismas8. If you have any additional questions about Clubhouse, what it is, what it can do for you, um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm sure there are other content creators who have had videos about it and everything. May talk a little bit more about this on my Instagram, more actually the Clubhouse app itself. So once again, Instagram at Christmas 8 and I'm at Christmas 8 on Clubhouse. So that's it from me. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. If you guys related to anything in this video, I need you to share it like expeditiously, especially if you're like part of the moderators, the moderating crew. If you watch the show, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've seen some of the mad people that have been on the show. Chidera always makes me laugh. Um, he's one of my favorites. Uh, who else is in there? That moderator, Jamal. Jamal looks good, so good for him. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.